Hey guys, welcome to Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. This is going to be a long playthrough, a lot of maps to play, and it'll take a while. But anyhow, we're going to play in the normal difficulty. Uh, easy's too easy, difficult's a little too difficult for how I like to play. Normal fits me right in my wheelhouse. And we'll be going with file number, a deuce. So let's see what's going on here. That's too bad. Hopefully they did something about it. Like invented some sacred stones by praying to the gods or something. Well, maybe, maybe that will solve all the problems. So thanks a lot. That was uh, Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. And uh, it was a good run. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, wait, no. Maybe, maybe we're not done. Maybe this is just kind of giving us the background of why the Sacred Stones are important. Oh... Grado. Better than Greedo. He shot first, you know. Allegedly. Of course, he didn't shoot first, and that's just terrible. But that is not what we're here to, today to discuss. Magval? I don't know about that. Of course it wouldn't. What would a Fire Emblem game be without the peace not lasting? Honestly. Oh, Fire Emblem. There's never peace, is there? And now you get a geography lesson. And I'm going to be trying to skip through this somewhat fast. So, you know, pause it if you want to read it. Kingdom of Rene, who's who's pretty cool, and I skipped that, but oh well. Kingdom of Fril Frilia, I'm sure we'll go with Frilia, ruled by Hayden, the Sage King. Good for him. Being sage is good, they can put you on food. Jehanna. Queen of the White Dunes. Oh, I can see where she gets her, uh, the name of her place from. The Theocracy of Mansell. Oh, roasted and ruled by Mansell. Interesting. And an Empire. Well, that's pretty much a sign of who the bad guy is going to be. Empires tend to be bad in games. I don't know why that is. I guess they see the British Empire, you know, and oh my god, they beat up on the USA and they're bad. And each one has a sacred stone. Well, that seems fair. And then there's a mercantile republic. Well, I'm sure those guys will turn out to be very trustworthy. People who are motivated solely by money, always trustworthy. Always. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's, that's a shame. 803. Interesting. I should be at work by now. <laughs> 803. Because, <laughs> yeah, you see. You see. Oh no, unexpected atrocity. And of course it's Grado. The largest, which means they also have the most military, no doubt. Well, you'd hope that the Emperor is giving the orders, otherwise that just doesn't seem right. Any resistance? Like what? They just rolled over, whipped their pants down and said drive it in there? Seriously? Come on, you can do better than that, Renee. Seizing one territory after another, and they've surrounded the capital by the looks of it. King Fado's worried about his son who's gone missing. Well, I guess that's worrisome, but the fact that your whole kingdom's about to get smushed is probably a bigger problem. Well, this is definitely an issue. <laughs> there you go. Have confidence in yourself, and you'll pull through just fine. Ah, the fall of Renee. That's a shame. That's a shame. Hopefully it'll be fast, though. Run, you little spearman, run! Then off with his head. Well, that didn't last too long at all. Well, that's a shame. That's also a shame. You know what? No, it's not a shame, though. That goatee, that is a very nice goatee. Oh, no! What else can we do? Just, you know, crouch down, pull our pants down, and take it. I'm sure that's going to end well. He's got some decent troops right there. Jeez, that's a girl? I guess that's Erica. Yeah, it is. Huh. Mmm, daddy's girl getting gifts from her daddy. Seth. It looks nothing like Seth Rogen, so I'm not going to have to make that comparison again. That's too bad. Frilia? Do you think you really do that? 
you'll remain here because again they're laying down their arms must know why I'm sure it's gonna end really well for everybody in this castle I mean that's that's how these things always work out in these games you mustn't stay yes that's sensible all right kidnap the princess and run Seth go oh my Seth having some fun <laughs> he's really having some fun <laughs> well that's a problem that's also a problem. Jeez, guys, overkill. You, you've done it. Well, I'm sure they'll all be fine. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the ding -lang man. Wait, no, sorry. It's actually Franz. So apparently we're Germany. That's good. Good to go. Yes, let's split up our small force. That's pretty brilliant. V understood. Uh, it's actually a U, but it looks like a V. A little bit. Quickly, behind me! Oh my. Oh, this guy. You guys are gonna love this fella. <laughs> this guy's pretty cool. I like him. Can't remember what his name is offhand. Valter, that's his name, the Moonstone. <laughs> He's pretty awesome. And, of course, we missed. And we got stabbed horribly. That's not so good. Oh, no, Seth is about to die. No, Seth can't die. Seth is the, the, the uh, prototypical paladin you get to start the game who's horribly strong. And you may just let him battle too much, and he'll suck up all the experience. But unlike the other Fire Emblem games, you can get away with that. <laughs> How entertaining. He's running away, actually. You're the one who can fly. Oh, you would say things like that, you horrible man. But anyway, as I was saying, the Fire Emblem games, they kind of are based on, you know spreading out your experience and making a bunch of strong units because you need a lot of strong units by the end of the game. But this game has a way around that, as we'll cover when we get to it. Anyway, back to more exposition. Well, then they must not be around. Because that makes sense when you're on the run. <laughs> oh, Seth. Just call it rape. It's all good. That's true, because you were going to stay like a dummy. Yes, now how about that big wound in your side? Yes, grave wound. Foreshadowing! Of course not. You wouldn't want to, you know, live. Actually, he's going to live. I'm just friggin' with y'all. Y'all. Um, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine, too. Yeah, I'm sure not. Yep. They would be pretty sad because they'd say, oh no, we lost our son, daughter, and brother, sister. That would be a shame. Seriously, she got a real manly face on her. All right, let's go. Okay, well, let's just go. And we're there. All right, so let's just go across that bridge. Come on, let's go. Cool, we got a sword. Hopefully we won't stab ourselves with it. Uh-oh, there's guys. Hi, guys. All right, so we could let Seth help out here. Now, if you click on an enemy troop, you can see where they can move to, and the red is where they can attack, and they can also attack anywhere in this blue, of course. That's their attack radius. And you can also check them by pressing what other button is it? Select, start, not start. I thought you could actually check the soldier's uh, stuff. Oh well. Anyway, he's kind of hurt, so we could finish this map in just a couple turns, but we're actually going to go over here and use an item and use a vulnerary to repair his hit points. Ten hit points, but it gets him something. Oh yeah, and after um, a mounted rider like performs an action, they can then move more. So see, he can finish using the rest of his movement points and. Him being a paladin, he gets like nine movement points. We'll move her back over here. I'm gonna wait. 
Now it turns over, the enemy gets to move. I just did it this way because I wanted to let her have a shot at trying to take everybody down. And you see, you see, don't you see, she can attack twice here. And she just does little stabbing moves, and he missed, and she can hit him again. Hooray! And unfortunately, he can't do anything because I've already uh, blocked up the way with her. So, you see on the her numbers, she has a 100% chance of hitting the enemy, and she does a damage of 7. But if she also has a 14% chance of doing a critical hit, if she gets a critical hit, she... This could be dangerous. She could actually... Um, what am I trying to say? She could actually uh, do triple the damage, so she'd do 21 instead of 7. And we're just, we're just gonna keep manipulating this because we want to get her as much experience as we can because she needs to get leveled up. So he only has a 41% 41% chance of hitting her, so it's not very uh, powerful. Oh, she smoked that guy. Smoked him. Yep, all that's left is the leader. Let's see what's he got. Well, let's move ourselves over to here. And we'll move him over to here. Yep. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> Chris, now, he's in the woods, see? He's now got a higher defense, and he can avoid a lot better. So we're going to back up a little bit. We want him to come out of the woods and actually have to fight us on more even terms. There. Now, he, see, now you'll see if I go over him, he's on the planes. He gets no defense bonus and no uh, evasion bonus. So that's excellent. It's what we wanted. Now... This would be dangerous to do. Let's see what he. Let's see what happens if we attack with him. See, he will kill this guy in one one round because he's just that powerful. So we're actually just going to end our turn and let him go first. We'll see if um, our princess takes damage here because this guy's a little better of a warrior. Oh, he hit her. That's too bad. Maybe she'll get a critical. No, she only gets one attack per turn too. So we're just going to keep manipulating this best we can. And we're going to use another item and heal up our damage. We might, should be able to get our level up out of this once he's done uh, attacking. Because he'll attack us again. He's not a shy guy by any means. Jeez, he's just whacking her in the head with that axe. That's not real nice. Alright, so now that we've done that, and he's in pain and suffering, even though we're hurt, our attack is 100% going to hit him, and we go first when we attack, so we will not die, and he will die instead. Hooray! I'm amazed she got no critical hits there. 14% on that many attacks? You know, if they all things being equal, which they're not, she should have got one there. And here's the now here's a level up. You can get random stats up. That's not bad. Five out of the eight got stats up. Um, it you can get none. It all depends on the random number generator and how it's going to treat you. And as we go along, you're going to see some bad level ups and some good level ups. And we'll just see how it pays off for everybody. Yeah, I'm just a little wounded. No big deal. That's because I've never been outside the castle because you guys shelter me so much. Jeez! It is. It's war. Yeah, they used to just play Risk and War. But I guess the card game's not quite the same. Yes, especially since Seth, you know, the brave paladin, just watched her stab three guys to death. <laughs> Way to go, Seth. Yeah, that's all that matters, baby, so get used to it. I don't know. They just want to do it for shits and giggles, I suppose? No, you won't, eh? Well, that's good to know. Sweet. That's good. All right, so that is the end of the prologue. Join us tomorrow, we'll move on to chapter one proper and get this game rolling right on, right on. It's gonna be a good one.